Hello, Dot. Hello. Hello. Now, <laughs> now, what have we got here? What's this special thing? No, what's this special thing? Oh, what's that? It's the oil squirt. No, it's not oil. It's... Water. That's right. And what's it going to squirt? What have we got this? What's this called? What? Is this your resurrection garden? Yes. And what's it made of? What do we got here? We got sort of a big bucket. Yep. And what's what's this brown stuff? Dirt. Dirt, okay. I scooped and then the dirt. What'd you do? You scooped it, did you? And we need our hand gloves. Oh, you you got your hand gloves and you scooped out the dirt. Very cool. And then what else did you get? Some rocks. Some rocks to make I a little little path there. Very good. Um, let's bring the trade the rocks around. Okay, I'm gonna move them there. Okay. And yeah. what what else is on the in the garden, the resurrection garden? What? What's this up the top? Crosses. This is Jesus Christ. Ah, and what's it? What are they made of? Sticks. Sticks. Very good. Okay. And these and these are made of sticks. Oh, very good. So we got um, two sticks for the it, two robbers who were crucified one, next to Jesus. Jelly. Okay, um, and Dot's caught, giving them names. And this uh, the one's for Jesus. Yep. And the two robbers you've called. Uh, yes. Yes, it's very tactile, which is really good. Three, and Jesus, and this is Belly. Belly and Jelly are the two... Uh, are the two robbers? Okay. Yeah. Now, what's, what else is what else is here? What? Uh, what's on on the? What's this little white white stuff? What are they? The grass seeds. Grass seeds. And we're big long grass. Oh, really? That'll be nice. And then, what's this in the middle? What's this? Ah, oh, that's the tomb, and it's made out of just a little tin. Let's have a look in there, see? Mm -hmm. And we found a nice rock. You want to put the rock over the tomb? If I, right. can under, I can hold it. You want to hold it? Okay, there you go. Very nice. And don't, yep. And then, every day, we get the little thing, and you want to press it? Yep. There you go. Oh, I, I think it does. There it goes. And just get it nice and wet. Very good. And we help the grass grow and we talk about the Easter story. But can I put some more on? Yeah. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. That's it. Not too much. Good job. That's it. Don't want to make it muddy. There we go. Good. Okay. So you tell me the Christmas, uh, the Easter story. What what did Jesus do up here? Died on the cross. Oh, why did he die on the cross? Because he was going to die. <laughs> yeah, and he died on the cross because he loves us very much. Yeah, and and what did happen with the in the tomb? So after he died, they took him down from the cross, and then what? He put it in the empty. In the tomb. And if they would get this in the tomb. No. And then what did they do? The guards put a big... Stone. Oh, is that the stone, is it? Okay, you put it over the tomb. And is that the end of the story? No. What happened? What happened? How, how many days later? Three days. Three days? What happened after three days? Mm. <gasps> and what happened? What happened after three days, Dot? The Lazarus rolled away. And? And what happened? And what happened with Jesus? Jesus was alive, and that's what we celebrate. <laughs> Okay, so a resurrection garden is a great way to teach your kids about the Easter story. 
Um, it's very tactile, allows the kids to do a lot of imaginary play. See, little bunny is playing Mary who comes to visit the tomb to, to try and find Jesus. Uh, it's a great way to keep going through the story. Um, the grass growing over time is just a fantastic thing to see and um, makes it even more interactive. Um, it's very physical, uh, just, yeah, just a great way of getting the gospel into your kids. Highly recommend it. Um, not sure where we got this cat. Yeah. Where did we get the plastic? This is probably the hardest thing to find. It's just a gardening tray, I think. It's just a pot plant tray. Or there you go. It's just a pot plant tray. Uh, easy to pick up from your local hardware store. Um, or oh, you could use something else if and you... And we can put this around there so we can make a beautiful thing for the cross. Oh, lovely. And so, yeah. Highly recommend trying it out this Easter. Um, we did it last year and uh, Dot, she's now two and a half. At one and a half, she could do tell the Easter story fairly easily. Um, so it's a great way of get this, getting the story into your kids' hearts and minds. And over time, you help them understand more and more about what it means for Jesus to die on the cross and for him to rise again, what it means for them and for the world. So, and yeah. put him in the tomb. Put him in the tomb, did they? Did he stay in the tomb? No. No? He came alive. Hey! That's what Easter's all about. Cool. Yeah, we just be her. That's what bunnies like to do. <laughs> That's what bunnies like to do. See, even, even a, a bunny can still be part of Christmas. Oh, uh, sorry, still part of Easter, just in this way for us. <laughs> cool. Happy Easter, all.